or it isn't the crux of all the problems in the Middle East. I have a feeling that even if the Israeli state weren't there, there'd be quite a few problems in the Middle East. So uh, that's uh, often, um, maybe that exacerbates the problem somewhat, and uh, it also gives people a good uh, cause to liberate to um, keep on um, getting excited and uh, outraged over it. So anyway, uh, I don't want to get into the right or wrongness of that particular thing. This is a pro-Zionist, uh, to some extent, book in the sense that uh, the person who's writing this book, I think, really sympathizes with Reuben's father. And probably the person writing this book is a Reuben person. I think it's probably a Reuben person. It's probably, I would think this book really happened. I would think that uh, the person who was the man writing this book was at one point Reuben. And that uh, he knew Dan, a Dan. There's another continuation of this book that I don't think is half as good. Can't remember the name of it. So he knows more about Danny's life after he becomes a psychiatrist and stuff like that. So I think uh, he continues this, uh, uh, this book uh, somewhat. All right, so let's go here. They're in the hospital line. Hospital scene, let me see if it's chapter two. We rode to Brooklyn Memorial Hospital. And um, Mr. Gallanter comes in. How you doing? Um, let's see, what page are we on in your book? I want to try to keep track of it because my page is different. What page is chapter two for you? 32. 32, all right, I'm four pages ahead of you. So, you know, they have this, this uh, you know, jaunty dis discussion. The Saunders boy on the next page or so, Mr. Gonder said, the one who hit you, you know anything about him? And they start talking about the whole thing. <coughs> Doctor comes in, examines him, he's got some blurred vision, they want to call his father and so on. So I'm just going to try to uh, move along here to something significant happens, okay? Guy called Dr. Snydman comes in or something like that. They take him to the eye ward. They examine him. Then finally we get to a new section within chapter two. I open my right eye. I guess they've done an operation on it by that point. What, what page is that, around 36? I open my right eye. In my book, it's 40, so I'm not in my book. 38. You're, 38. You're catching up to me. Okay, so you're excited to probably pass me. And uh, some, of, some of us have 40, and some of us have 38. So um, then his father isn't here yet, and, uh, but there's people in the other beds. It's in a war. So he gets to know some of the people. Uh, in the war, and it's interesting. I think there are men playing cards. There was one boy who was blind. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What day is it? F 41. It's Monday. Yeah, there it is. 45 in my book. 41 in your book. Monday, June 5th. Like my friend over here said, Monday, June 5th. Oh, he's gone now. But anyway, he said it, he's gone. Uh, well, you know, and he knew when the invasion was, so I guess he can pass the test. That's right, kid. So there's some funny guys, a guy called Mr. Sabo. They're kind of rough. What's your name then? Ruben Malter. Good to meet you, Bobby boy. <laughs> Tony Sabo is my name. That's right, Bobby boy. So he's getting this kind of, this kid has never even seen the world, and he's in this, uh, he's in this world full of uh, rough people in the hospital. Finally, his father comes in, uh, and of course his father is very, a very kind, gentle person. They talk about the glass in his eye. Dr. Seidman, Seidman took it out. They say he performed a miracle. He calls his father here, Abba. Abba, if you know people 
religious Jewish people who, who know some Hebrew. Abba means what in Hebrew? Dad, Dad. Father, yeah, Abba. I think it's in the it's in the New Testament too when when Jesus says, uh, "Why have you forsaken me?" Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? So Abba is actually it's Aramaic, I think, but I think it also works. Aramaic is another Semitic language. It's in the middle of Arabic. And Hebrew. So anyway, um, they have a very, uh, you know, a very warming discussion. And then on page 48, my page 50, hey, we're moving, huh? The dad says, Rev Sanders called me twice today.